And I think one of the things that I actually really liked about the book is that it's, it, you know, it's, it's a light book, it's a fun book, but it's about friendship and personal growth more so than sort of being this holiday romance kind of thing, that there is a teeny tiny little bit of romance in one of the, the, the stories, but um, a lot of it's just really a lot about friendship. Um, mm. And um, was that sort of a bit different for you, writing about friendship was it as, as one of the big themes? Friendship has come into play with in some aspect with all my books from the intern. I think that kind of the power of and importance of friendship has really come through with this one for sure. Um, I had fun playing around with it with like the intern faking it and Melody Trumpet, which is more middle grade. Um, mm -hmm. um, however, I can never resist a bit of romance either, but I wanted to make sure in terms of the romance side for one of the characters that I didn't write a love story that I'd already written before so I wanted yeah. to ma capture something that felt really true to me but was also different for my readers yeah. um but yeah the friendship ones sometimes sometimes I kind of when I say I plan books out I kind of you know I'm trying to plan out plot and characters and certain you know feelings maybe I want to capture but I don't always know everything I'm doing if you know what I mean until I've reread that first draft or two and go oh that's that's what's happening for me with this book you know so and those themes start to jump out at you and I did I did see that kind of power of friendship and fading friendships and new friendships and I've reflected I like to reflect on oh I wonder what was happening for me that kind of really brought all that to the surface and I've touched on this briefly before with other people but I've recently so, sort of recently in the last couple of years gone through a bit of a transition in terms of moving out of the city where I lived for about 13 years and you know friends are now scattered all around Australia and the globe um, and I'm still tight with them but it's just so much harder to, to get to each other as we all know with COVID now as well so I think I've gone through this period myself of trying to make some friendships work that may not want to work anymore mm -hmm. and meeting new people that kind of light a spark in you and you kind of think how has this person not been in my life for 10 years like we've only known each other for a week and that's kind of I think all those feelings I like to channel feelings into yeah. my books and come up with fictional scenarios of course mm. um so I think that I think there was a lot going on for me with mm. um reflecting about friendships and weighing up you know who's who was still who are we, who am I still connecting with in that kind of deeper way? And I remember what it's like, goodness, through high school and, and uni in your twenties, where you're kind of meeting new people and you're letting your friends down and they're letting you down. And, you know, it continues mm. to happen well into well through life. So it's one of those authentic things, one of those um, universal timeless themes, I think. Yeah, totally. <laughs> that affects, totally. Us, affects us forever. Mm. And yeah, and I don't think we necessarily talk about it enough too that, well, I guess you do, you do see some of those memes about, you know, friends for a season, friends for a reason, friends for life kind of thing. And I think, yeah, you definitely saw that in the book. I particularly loved Tilly and um, the Peaches and, and this sort of very strange organic friendship that just arose out of that moment. And yeah, you sort of I don't know, I was hoping they'd stay in touch kind of thing. But, yeah, that even if they didn't, that that was still something so magical and perfect and, yeah, just nourishing about that friendship. I think they will stay in touch yeah. in, my, in my heart. I think that they have that genuine kind of, it's not Insta friendship, it was more just they had that something special that long-term friendships have where, you just kind of, it's like your souls know each other. Yeah. And like, I've, I have that, I've had that, been lucky enough to have that because it is something to be grateful for as well. Because, you know, it's it's um something I've been lucky to have multiple times in my life. And even as and like finding friends as a, an adult in a new town is so hard, but I've had it happen in my new town with a girl on a bus, another, well, another woman on a bus. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I sometimes think, wow, we were really sent to each other, like for a few different reasons. So I think like that was kind of all happening at the same time. She's completely different to Tilly, but I think that feeling of remembering, oh, wow, you know, you can have these sparks, these platonic sparks with yeah. people that can, 
be more beautiful in some ways because they're not complicated by other things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and yeah, it was it was actually a really joyous book to write. Like even though there is some heavy themes in there involving grief and anxiety and mental health and that type of thing. The, I think the friendship side of things really buoyed it for me as like yeah. as the writer because yeah. um, otherwise I can get weighed down and get a bit too method with it all and too angsty with it all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I really, I'm fond of Tilly as well. She was a real she was, sweetheart. Yeah, totally. She was my favourite yeah. character. 